Hi guys, Alan Moore here on another fragrance review. Uh, on today, guys, I'm going to share with you one of these fragrances that's perfect for a date night. Now, this is going to be my take on this lovely fragrance. It's fantastic. It's everything guy who's going, that single who's going out on a date, needs this in their collection. And there have been countless videos done on this fragrance and this is my take on it so guys if you want to maybe get lucky with a young lady and go mate meet at the club tonight this could be the set you're looking for guys so if you're interested see me after the intro come back in a minute cheers guys thanks a lot Hey guys, thanks for coming back. I hope everybody's doing great. Uh, I hope you're having a nice day where you are in the world. You know, if you live in the UK, I hope you're doing well there. Enjoy another bank holiday mall experience at the moment. Um, let me just show you the scent of the day I've got on, guys. And it's this one here. It's Gucci Guilty, pour on. I love this fragrance. So I'm looking for something to wear today. And when I looked in the cabinet, this is the one that stuck out more than anything at the time. So I love the shape of the bottle. It smells fantastic on. I'm going to spray it on air and just refresh the room now. It smells fantastic. You know, I love the shape of the start of the bottle, as I say. It's like a flask. You know, the flask you used to keep in your in like a pocket if you're walking around a park or something or a night you reserve and have a quick tipple, like, you know, something similar along them lines. Nice, pretty in your hand, really nice that one does, guys. And you, you can get that quite affordable these days. So it's a, a worthy pickup. And I do enjoy that fragrance. There's a lot of negativity around it on, you know, uh, YouTube. For some people, the like, 80s plays genetic and different stuff. If that's genetic, bring it on every day. Because that smells fantastic to me. Okay, so let's go with the main fragrance of this video. Is this one here. George Polio, Giorgio Armani, uh, Strong With You Intensely. And this is probably up there for my mouse people to be the best date night fragrance. And I can't really argue against that too much because it is really good. You know, we've all got things we like as well. And I was reviewing a fragrance recently called John Paul Garcia Ultra the mouse people have heard of now. And all of that fragrance, but to me, I don't just want to go out on one date. I want to go on multiple dates, you know, lots of them over the years. And things like this, whether it's this or the ultra male, they'll say me where I want to do, go out and go out where any. And so this is really up there with the best of them. You know, this is a designer fragrance. And you say it's a nice looking bottle, look, got a nice top. You pull off there. And it only fits on one way, you try and fit it on back, guys. To show the spray up. <laughs> yeah, this is really good, guys. Take it from me. I mean, I've been doing this for a while now, and I've got nothing. To, I mean, I got like small followers, but they don't really matter because um, I'm trying to give you the best advice based on me wearing this fragrance. Look, how much I've used of it. Look, how it smells in the air. Now it's fantastic. You can't, until you get your nose on it, so to explain to you, I could, I could read all the notes off to you, I've got written down here. I've got my fragrance off my laptop here earlier. And I could read all them to you, and it would make a bit of a difference. But now as soon as you smell this, for real, in, the, in person, like going to a shop and smell it, spray it on your skin, then you'll appreciate this fragrance. It, it, I'll bet you any money, if you've got the money, you'll have the money over there and then. This is how good this fragrance is. So, to me, it's, Scream sexy fragrance and it's got this sexuality about it that makes you feel like you want to, you know, um, <clears throat> be confident when you walk into like a, a place where you're meeting somebody. You might have well arranged to meet on a date and then you're going there for the first time. And what a fragrance for the, to this to introduce somebody your first date. Do you know what I mean? They're going to knock their socks off with this because it is really that good. And that. Uh, you know, you know what they say, do you guys? Start as you mean to go on. Right, and this is a good way to start on that date. 
Uh, then the rest of the evening just doing fouls as he goes along. But that would play a big part in it being a successful night, in my opinion. Uh, so it is one of them fragrances that's got like a sweetness to it, you know. And I know they're not the same. I've smelled copies of uh, Parfum de Marley's later, and I've never owned the original, so I can't accept my price range. I just tried uh, copies of it, you know, for, um, the uh, pair perfume parlors, copies of it, and different things like this. And they reckon they're in quite close. I wouldn't really know, but when I smelt that in the past, this reminds me of that a little bit. You know, I've got that sort of the notes in there, it just seem very similar to me. So I would say, see, this is very good fragrance. And they've also been compared to uh, Mason Margiela's by the fireplace as well. I've heard it compared to that. Got that like a chestnut here, vibe and roasted chestnuts and different stuff by the fireplace. It's got that vibe to it. And I couldn't disagree with that because it does smell very, you know, that kind of a vibe it gives off. But it's got like, like an added sweetness to it as well. And I'll read you the notes out and you can see for yourselves where the sweetness is coming from. So let's just give you information on this phrase. So we'll just put this down, guys. Get me now a bit closer. Right. It's an EDP concentration. It was released in 2019. Right. I'll read some of the notes that was written down on Fragrantica. You can check yourselves if you want to, guys. Excuse me. Uh, you know, is it an oriental fragrance? Or oh, sorry, oriental woody with a fougere a sense. It tells a story of new love. Tell me about date night, guys. They may be writing that themselves. You know, that, that's how we're staying confident. It'll be a good date night uh, fragrance. It comes in 30ml, 50ml and 100ml bottles, sizes. That was the 100 I just showed you. And you wear it every penny. You know, I'm going to buy another bottle of that. And the Retin, the Absolute, is very good as well. It might be even better than that, but I'm really happy with this one I've got at the moment. I don't want to keep going collecting all of them because there's too many. In fact, I wouldn't mind collecting a few more of them fragrances in the, in the flankers to that one. To try a few of them out. I don't fancy the absolute because it's supposed to be like a bit um, like a medicine kind of spell, like a cream or something like that. I heard up somebody saying on one of the videos I was watching, a medicinal, you know, vibe to it, and I don't want that. Um, but some of the other ones I'm interested in, uh, some of the other flankers. So I'm going to add in a few more to my collection. Anyway, in the top notes on the Emporio Marni one, you've got. Pink pepper, juniper, and violet. And it's, this is where, in the mid, this is where the fougere part comes from. Because it says like it's a, an oriental woody with a fougere, but it's actually classed as an amber fougere because there's amber in the base. But in the, into the mid, you get like toffee, cinnamon, and lavender. And that's where the it's our shade comes from, uh, fougere. A lot of lavender fragrances and classed as fougere fragrances. You know, so that's where he's uh, got that note in that makes it lean a bit more fougere. Yeah. Uh, you've got sage in there as well in the mid. And in the base, you've got vanilla, tonka beans, amber and suede. And to me, it's a fantastic date night fragrance, guys. Like I said on the earlier on the video, I'd be really surprised if the date didn't work out the way you wanted it. I mean, it's obviously, we, we can't predict these things. It depends how two people get on with the first mate. Some people sparks fly and, you know, some people, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but that's the way it is. Okay, guys, it's only a short video for today. I've got another video coming out. Uh, I'm filming two today, so I've got the next one coming out. And it's going to be based on uh, Middle Eastern fragrance, which is going to be perfect for the winter coming up. Okay, so please stay tuned for that. So, go out to the next video shortly and have a look at that and see what you think. Uh, don't forget to uh, you know, subscribe to the channel, please. Uh, leave a comment, put it, give me a thumbs up, all this stuff, you know, the good stuff that you all know what you're doing with uh, YouTube now. I'd appreciate that. I've just been had some good news today. I'm on Instagram as well and Facebook and on 
Instagram today, I've reached 200 followers in a matter of a month or something like that. So, and that's quite good. I'm really proud of that. And I'm really thankful for all the people out there who have been following me. So thank you very much if you're watching this video. Uh, and I'm just hoping to build me figures up on YouTube a little bit now. Again, a few more comments here and there now and again. But I know think these things take time. And I can't be any different. I have to be myself. And this is, like I say in my videos, Alan Moore, one mic, one take. Any mistakes, the same. The rawest video you can find, guys. Okay, that's it for me. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Go out and enjoy the sun if you live in the UK. And I think the might be, weather might be good for the bank holiday. I mean, normally it's rainy. Uh, so go and enjoy. I'm going to fire the barbecue by the tonight or tomorrow. So I've got all stuff in from shopping yesterday. I'm going to cook some meat on the barbecue. And I was babbing. Okay, see you on the next one, guys. Tell me. Have a good one.